Good day guys! Today, we will discuss the topic titled Felix Bernstein Expedition Through Set Theory. It is about the journey of our chosen mathematician in set theory named Felix Bernstein. The study will highlight on Bernstein's contribution on set theory. Not only that, but we will also include his early life, adult life, and of course, his famous years. Well, before we start, Take note of our objectives. First, to describe the expedition of Felix Bernstein in the field of set theory. Second, to understand more of his contributions. Third and lastly, to prove that he played a key influence in set theory. So, let's begin. First of all, almost all of students nowadays are not familiar with the mathematicians that contributed to build the theories that we are using now. Especially, the mathematician and statistician named Felix Bernstein, who established the well-known equivalence theorem with Ernest Schroeder and published an article named Transfinite Ordinal Numbers by Cantor, which is now very useful in our generation. So hello guys, let me tell you something about the life of Felix Bernstein. First of all, he was born on the 24th of February 1878 in Hale, Germany, and his name was given to him by his mother after a musician named Felix Mendelssohn, and his first love was sculpting and painting. Then, his father Julius Bernstein was a friend of the well-known mathematician named George Cantor that influenced him to be a mathematician. In his adult life, Bernstein started to study about physiology with his father as his instructor, but, sub but after some years, he became a professor of Mathematical Statistics University in Göttingen. Proceeded his role to the government as a Commissioner of Finance, became a full professor and in established the Institution of Mathematical Statistics and then appointed to be the Chief of Office of Rationing Statistical Section in Berlin. And his, in his famous years, started when Bernstein made the Schroeder and Bernstein Theorem in 1986, be involved in the borel cantel dilemmas in 1911, perfected the genetic transfer of human blood types in 1924, Annals of Mathematical Statistics in 1937, the Archives of Ophthalmology in 1945, and nowadays because of his contributions in the set theory. Now, let's tackle Bernstein's contribution and work to set theory. The Equivalent Theorem and Transfinite Ordinal Number The Equivalent Theorem, which is also known as Schroeder-Bernstein Theorem. This theorem implies that if A is equal to B and B is equivalent to A, then A and B have an equivalent. This means that element from both sets should have a one-to-one -one connection. The term one-to-one -one connection refers to the fact that for every element in set A, there is an equal number of elements in set B, until the set are maximized. And now, the transfinite ordinal number. It is based on the concept of a well-ordered set because every element will be arranged into a definite order. George Cantor was the one who discovered this theorem but Bernstein was the one who helped him by giving an essential proof that changes the theory. To sum up everything, it provides us the information about Felix Bernstein's early and adult life, as well as his famous years. This just also proves that his contribution in set theory has a big impact in this field. Bernstein was famous in the world of mathematics because of his works, he shows that his proof was reliable that even other mathematicians were impressed. It is shown that Bernstein's importance in the field of set theory has been established. Wow, Bernstein really had a great expedition. He undoubtedly had a great contribution in the world of mathematics, especially in the field of set theory. The story of his life on how he became a great mathematician still amazes me. That's it for today, guys. We did great. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.